Hello, I'm Humaira Ahmed, the VP of Legal Relations and Business Development for the Americas at the Liberian Registry. Today, I'm going to talk about the three major amendments to the Liberian Maritime Law. On August 9th, 2022, the Republic of Liberia amended its maritime law to improve the mortgage reporting process of Liberian mortgages. What you need to know. Starting with the first major amendment, Liberia now allows for the electronic filing of vessel mortgages by email without the need to follow up and submit an original mortgage to the Liberian registry. Before COVID, you needed to come into the Liberian registry with at least three original hard copies of each vessel mortgage that you were recording. That's a lot of paper. During COVID, Liberia temporarily modified its mortgage recording procedures and allowed for the electronic filing of mortgages by email, which was great, but you still needed to follow up and submit an original mortgage instrument to the registry because that's what the law required. Now, Liberia has eliminated this requirement and you can simply submit and record a PDF copy of an original mortgage by email without the need to submit an original hard copy to the registry. The Liberian Registry is the first open ship registry to permanently allow for the electronic filing of a vessel mortgage by email, which is great to see. Moving on to the second major amendment. The purpose of recording a vessel mortgage is to put third-party creditors on notice that a vessel mortgage secures a certain amount of debt in favor of a bank or a mortgagee. It's not meant to disclose in a public filing the sensitive terms of a loan, such as the financial covenants in a loan agreement. So Liberia has added specific language to its maritime law to make it clear that you don't have to annex any copies or summaries of the underlying debt to an enforceable Liberian mortgage. Instead, what you do need to do is simply state the title, the date, and those parties that adequately identify the debt instrument in the mortgage, as well as the total amount of debt secured by the mortgage. It's important to note that there are other jurisdictions where debt instruments are not attached to a vessel mortgage, nor are they filed in a separate public registry, and many lenders lend against these vessels without issues of enforcement. And moving on to the third and last major amendment. Liberia has now made it clear that you don't need to amend a Liberian mortgage every time the mortgage debt is modified because the recorded mortgage secures those modifications. For instance, you don't need to file a mortgage amendment when the interest rate or the payment terms of the debt change, or if the total amount of the debt secured by the mortgage decreases, or if the maturity date of the debt changes, unless the maturity date is stated in the mortgage and it's being extended. The recorded mortgage secures these modifications. If, however, the total amount of debt secured by a mortgage increases, or if the mortgage secures hedging obligations and the maturity date of the hedge stated in the mortgage is being extended, you'll need to file a mortgage amendment to secure these modifications, the increased amount of debt or the extension of the maturity date of the hedge. These three major amendments to the Liberian Maritime Law significantly improve the mortgage recording process of Liberian mortgages and clarify when you need to file a mortgage amendment with the Liberian Registry. For a copy of these amendments, please go to www.lisker.com or email me at hamed.lisker.com with any questions. Thank you.